Would it surprise you if I told you that water holds the keys to antiviral health? Now, I know it sounds like a cavalier statement, but why wouldn't it? Water is life. So when we're faced with questions of life or death, the source of life will always have answers. Now, the more scientists peer into the mysterious complexity of water, the more they're discovering exactly why certain water sustains life. Now, your body is 70% water volumetrically and 99% molecularly. So naturally, the kind of water that you're made of will have the greatest influence in your health. Yes, diet and lifestyle are so important. Water is even more important. So this is part two of a series where we're exploring the answers that water can provide during times of coronavirus pandemic crisis. And it goes beyond just drinking eight glasses a day. We're going really deep. And if you want to dive even deeper, you can find all of the reference links to articles and studies in the post that accompanies this video. Now, of course, I'm not a doctor and this is not medical advice, but it all comes straight from doctor, scientists and researchers because water is at the forefront of medicine. And this information is meant to empower you to inhabit your body of water in ways that will help you thrive in the face of viral adversity. So without further ado, let's do this. Today's topic is deuterium depleted water. Do what now? Is deuterium, is deuterium. Deuterium, deuterium, and deuterium. It's an isotope of hydrogen. So this is one of the main differences between water found on Earth now versus the water that our ancestors drank. Ancient water had lower levels of hydrogen's evil twin, deuterium. Right now, a research center in Budapest called HYD LLC is actually starting clinical studies to verify deuterium depleted water's effects specifically on COVID-19. It looks really promising. There's already so much research, as we'll get into in a minute, on how it can prevent viruses and then in terms of actually treating existing viral infections. They've already shown really incredible results in studies in animals. Now they're starting human COVID-19 specific tests. So keep your finger on the pulse of that for sure. So what is deuterium exactly? Well, we all know that water is H2O, right? Two hydrogens, one oxygen. And the hydrogen comes in three main flavors. You've got regular hydrogen called protium, tritium, and deuterium. Now deuterium has all the same properties as regular hydrogen, except it's twice as heavy because it has an extra neutron. This is why deuterium is heavy hydrogen, and deuterium rich water is called heavy water, and deuterium depleted water is called light water. And it behaves a lot like regular hydrogen in the environment, but it acts way differently than regular hydrogen in chemical reactions inside our bodies. Now in the last video of this series, we saw how hydrogen from water fuels the spinning turbines that make energy in our mitochondria. Well, deuterium hydrogen is too heavy for that. It's like thick, gluggy, viscous oil. When you put thick, gooey oil into an engine, the engine is gonna sputter and choke and eventually break. Well, broken mitochondrial turbines mean less energy, less cellular magnetism, and more disease. Now, for a number of reasons, ranging from drinking water quality to diet to lifestyle, modern people have way too much D inside their cellular fluid, and it can cause immune dysregulation, like immunological responses to ordinarily non-harmful entities in the body that would otherwise just be ignored, and then your poor, confused immune system gets so worn out, it can't mount any effective response to the really harmful entities when it's needed. And studies have shown that pathogens like viruses, bacteria, and yeast actually thrive in a high D environment, and that increased deuterium can increase their growth rate, their lifespan, and their size. But by drinking D depleted water or light water, we can support our body's natural ability to auto regulate and deplete D from inside of our cells' own me metabolic water. Now, this is important because deuterium can actually alter the shape of your DNA, leading to all kinds of issues with genetic replication. Now, remember this. This is how coronavirus proliferates itself, through RNA transcription of the DNA. And misshapen DNA is more susceptible to corruption. And your double helix is held in its chiral structure by the water molecules in between the genes. So when deuterium-heavy DNA is no longer able to fold properly, it stays stretched out, and the cell keeps replicating instead of resting like a normal cell would. This means less telomeres, premature aging, and your cells replicate more suboptimal genes. Now don't get me wrong, a little bit of D is no big deal. It's natural. The Earth uses deuterium to help things grow. It helped you grow when you were a baby and a teenager, and it helps growing plants and animals. But once you stop growing, having too much in your cellular fluid can cause other things to grow, things you don't want, like the proliferation of bacteria, funguses, protozoa, and you guessed it, viruses. 
Plus, it reduces cellular energy and magnetic field strength. It causes DNA, hormones, and proteins to get literally bent out of shape. And then, less oxygen is drawn from the blood and your redox potential decreases. And a lowering of your redox potential means an increase in your susceptibility to viral illnesses like COVID-1984, which specifically affects your blood oxygenation and redox potential. Now, this is a big difference between people who carry the virus with no symptoms or minimal symptoms and people who get laid out by the virus and have to be hospitalized. Now, here's the last and maybe the most interesting relationship between deuterium water and viruses. So we all know that vaccines contain genetically disabled viruses, right? Usually suspended in water. Well, how do they keep vaccines so that those viruses stay viable within the vials that they're stored in before injection? Well, one of the most effective ways is by storing them in deuterium-rich water. That's right, heavy water full of deuterium helps preserve the viruses inside of vaccines. Now, a researcher named Dr. Kranich and his colleagues made batches of vaccine viruses with distilled water and heavy water, and then heated them to 45 degrees Celsius. And after seven days, the deuterium water sample had a thousand times more active viruses. So why wouldn't deuterium in your body do the same thing? This is why it's so crucial to limit and deplete our inner deuterium, because where viruses thrive in heavy water, they perish in light water. So what do we do with this knowledge? Well, water is the easiest fix. Now, the best light waters or deuterium-depleted waters are Clarivia, Mito water, and Preventa. They have deuterium levels around 20 to 120 parts per million. They aren't cheap, around $20 a liter or 80 to 100 per gallon, but that's cheaper than the hospital bills for millions of people without health insurance, right? that it's a replacement for medical treatment, but an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. But I know these are financially tight times for many, so if you can't buy it, you can also kind of make light water at home. It's not nearly as good, but it only costs pennies and a lot of time. So you can find instructions for how to make it in the accompanying article along with this video. But what else affects your D levels? Turns out, a lot of things. The second biggest way that we take water into our bodies besides drinking it is by eating it. So our diet has a big effect on whether our body water is protium hydrogen or deuterium hydrogen. Now you want to keep this video short and digestible so the dietary deuterium do's and don'ts are also in the accompanying article as well as other lifestyle factors that can affect it and some amazing tools and devices that I recommend for lightening your body water. They're all linked in the post so you can take sovereignty over your own body waters. And if you want professional medical help with your D-levels, the Center for Deuterium Depletion can actually use MRI to map the patterns of deuterium in your body, in your hair, your nails, your DNA, and the doctors there can recommend a protocol to help you deplete it. All right, guys, so that's the basics of deuterium water. It's all about making our modern water more like ancient water, because water is life. So of course, water can save lives. Now for a quick free quench your thirst hydration guide, head to my website. It's just a simple basic overview of a few key hydration hacks. And then if you want to dive even deeper and really learn the difference between bottled tap water, reverse osmosis, alkaline, spring water, etc, etc, and how each of these affects your body and your mind very differently, I have a brand new e-course for you. It's just 10 to 20 minutes a day for seven days, and you can empower your hydration for the rest of your life. So I hope you'll join us there. And if you learned something new today, please share this. It means the world to me. And if you want to stay in the loop, you can subscribe to the newsletter, follow on Instagram, or join our Bodies of Water Facebook group. Everyone have a blessed day. Stay home and stay hydrated.